kind of back with a different uh, lab here and I think this might be the way we roll um, we have uh, I've got a Proxmox set up there's two routers a uh, few iOS routers set up on it and we're gonna just do a quick hopefully everything works here um, calls PGP and I'm taking a lot of this um, off notes here and from a couple different tutorials um, the one they have on their site it's pretty pretty good um, it's missing a few things So what I take from this statement is that we're going to um, set up a neighbor with a 0 0.2 and we're going to be doing uh, external BGP multi-up 2. Uh, multi-up 2, just a couple quick tidbits. It's not going to allow a router um, more than two hops away to tell it how to get there. Um, pretty uh, straightforward. And we're going to set our remote um, autonomous system, which is just going to be for this test um, uh, 65535, and this will be 34. Kadooki. Um, same thing here. Uh, we need to tell it where are you going to get your updated routes from and that's going to be um, from itself because it will also um, be in the uh, BGP session with 35 so its neighbor is going to be dot two and it's going to say that it's update uh, sources itself. No, yeah, its update source is going to be able to tell dot two what routes it has. And the other node will be the opposite. Yep, that makes more sense. Um, we need to make sure this is going to just run uh, IPv4, so address family IPv4, and we could just add uh, IPv. Um, six over that as well so just taking from this lab uh -huh. zero slash 16 cool and then the last on the node for BGP anyway it's going to be perimeters router ID 192.168.0.1 and what now we're going to need to do is uh, set interfaces eth uh, ethernet uh, set interfaces ethernet um, ETH2. That's our. So we have a two routers on a Proxmox, and they have a virtual NIC between the two. And we're going to do address um, 192.168.0.1 slash 24. Let's see what that takes. Cool. Um, a few other things here because we're running at 10 gig. We need to go ahead and set duplex full. And this, these are just some of the errors it gave me from the uh, speed 10,000. Okay, commit. Um, and a lot of this comes from a buddy that has reached out to me, uh, Simon Pierce, I think. And uh, this one right here is for you. So uh, just committed, and everything's going to work just fine. But there's one little thing you want to add is save. Um, that's frustrating if you try to reboot here. So 
we're going to exit this. We're going to do show IP BGP. Cool. So we've got a route set up and we are advertising it as 0 0.1. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to the other. Um, sort of router. For whatever reason, just took a little bit of time. So I gotta figure out why one took a little bit. Um, but if we are on uh, this router one, and we do show IP BGP, we're getting the network that we're broadcasting, and also the network we're receiving from dot two. And if we click over to dot two, same hustle, we're getting uh, the 16 network out of dot one. Okay, now let's flip over to the other interfaces. Ethernet, ETH1, let's just set this at zero, and that way I know they're not on the same network. Yeah, I'm sorry, same interface address 72.16.0.0 slash 16. Oh, 1 slash 16. Oh, same damn thing I'm doing. Now I need to go in here and duplex full. Interface uh, on both boxes and there you have it. Uh, yeah, well, that's pretty cool. I'm going to have to say I like this more. Uh, host name R1, host name R2. Okay, just make sure that's set. I like this a lot. This is a pretty good lab. I'm pretty happy about how that just turned out. Uh, now my brain is kind of spinning, but um, we're about to get some really bad thunderstorms here, so uh, I get to uh, look at all my batteries and stuff. Make sure everything is working. Um, but thanks, thanks everybody for hanging out with me. <laughs>